So you what? How wild do you want to go? Oh my <laughs> as god! As wild as you want to go. <laughs> talk about right i want to talk about nigerian misogyny and i don't feel that i don't, I don't feel that we're misogynistic in nigeria it's just who I, I men are i don't think you i don't think men are, i don't okay first of all let's do definitions yeah let's do definition. what's even the definition of misogyny i don't even know i, like, I think I it's like, just any anti-female thing i was gonna say i don't like this modern world i think everyone's too soft they're too pc in fact you see there's always comments now oh, i beg people don't cancel me or i beg there's almost there's a fear of cancelling yeah, now like, because everyone fuck? Misogyny is hatred of women. That is the. That's very strong. Yeah. Why would a man hate a woman? I don't understand. Like women are lovable. We live in a time where, because of how triggered people are, um, it's very easy to throw out buzzwords. Exactly. I don't like it, man. Not even understand exactly what you're saying. I'm telling you. So that's that's really what's happening, Uh, and it's all part of the. I mean, you can disagree with me if you want. uh, Feminization of men. And facts. Facts. Oh, hit me with that. <laughs> this is I why I this nigga. Yeah, I agree. And you know the muscul- what's emasculation. The emasculation. No, no. For for women. Masculinization. Masculinization. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I think that's just what's happening. And I agree. With you. And yeah. obviously, it's it's being driven by the Western world and the Western agenda. Yeah, hundred percent. Hundred percent. So. I know you're very big on these uh, conspiracy activities. Oh, love it. Oh, my gosh. I, so I want you to to, to give me some mind-bending. <laughs> <laughs> mind-bending this guy. Right now. I'm ready. <laughs> uh, first of all, conspiracy <laughs> theory mm-hmm. is... <laughs> conspiracy is a theory... And then it, a theory needs to be proven. If you, or you get mm-hmm. once it's proven, it's no longer a conspiracy. I think. Mm. So, excuse me. That's a jam, yeah. But because I don't know the way the world is set up, so weird. Even when something is proven, people still say, "Oh, conspiracy uh, theorists, honestly. conspiracy theorists." Mm. You know. Um, do you want me to keep this within the context of moving, like? Uh, give us a good ah, African please. one. If, if there's Af- yeah, please give, give us a good me. African I'm trying one. to learn every day. Yeah. So you what? How wild do you want to go? Oh my <laughs> as God. wild as you want to go. <laughs> so there is a book you can buy on Amazon right now. Mm-hmm. It's called The Great Reset. Oh, yes. Interesting. It's, it's written the- by a guy, the founder of the World Economic Forum. Yeah. His name is Klaus Klau- Schwab's. So he's the one who is basically calling all these world leaders and billionaire elitists to Davos mm. to discuss basically... Davos is in the World Economic Forum, by the mm-hmm. way. Right? Yeah, mm-hmm. Davos in Switzerland, um, where they have all these meetings about the direction they want to take the world. And they discuss so many things like the climate agenda. Mm. They talk about transhumanism. Mm-hmm. They yeah. talk about... Uh, in April 2020, uh, Microsoft patented uh, a technology called cryptocurrency using body activity data. Hmm. So all of these, these are all facts. These are not conspiracy theories. These yes. are things that you can find in the US patent registry right now. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And all of this is to engineer a world to bring about a reset. Yes. Where we would all be connected to machines. Mm-hmm, you know, mm-hmm. you know that we know that Elon Musk is the, uh, he has a company Neuralink. called Neuralink, yeah, yeah. where he's developing all of these technologies mm-hmm. that connects the human brain to computers. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We've heard Boris Johnson talk about how your mind will be connected to Google. You know, you know how he talks. Yes, um, <laughs> <laughs> that is him with his mop on his head. Yeah. So, hmm. and these are all the agendas that are being pushed true chaos that is happening in the world is the um lab grown meat and the whole like um vegan is that part of it it's all facts my my, i have a friend a very close friend went to uni together she i think she just 
left her company. She's working in a food company until very recently. Okay. Um, they manufacture synthetic beef, mm. synthetic sausages. Hmm. Have you ever tried that stuff? What's my business? Hmm. <laughs> and one of their biggest shareholders is Bill Gates. Oh. Um, so, again... There's a depopulation agenda as well. There is a... Two, when it comes to population, there's population control agenda Duh, and yeah. there's population reduction agenda. Mm. Nice, yeah. And they are beginning to become more and more vocal about these things, mm -hmm. you know. So, um, <laughs> so from your, from, <laughs> I love this. I have, I have I'm a from, from, from your right vast now. knowledge in your kind of global, yeah. uh, kind of geopolitical activities going on and all this, uh, conspiracy but also fury and things that are getting real. Right. Yeah. Where do you see kind of Africa in the next like five years and so forth? Like, what are you? What are you think? What do you, what do you think would happen? Um, Africa has gone past its winning period. What? Uh, hmm, interesting. Interesting. That was... We're just we just we started, but uh, interesting. Go uh, ahead. Like we are we are of age. Really. Uh, we are of age. I believe we are of age. Um, winning we, as in winning from the child kind yes, of thing or yes. winning as successful. You have to oh, no, no. Sorry. Oh, yeah. So you winning mean winning like a child. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so even, you know, my oh, my days. <laughs> I was having palpitations. I'm like... <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Yeah. Okay, so, I agree with that. Yeah. Yeah. So mm -hmm. we are of age. And I think, yeah, I think I we that. need to start yeah. taking ownership for our continent. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh it's just interesting here. Yeah. How can you trust somebody, a continent that has, in history, never really had your best interest at heart to provide you a vaccine hmm. that would help your sit your people? You know, the same people that came out, I mean, Chubby, we saw Bill Gates come out to say uh, there are going to be so many dead bodies mm -hmm. in Africa. Well, thank God that did not happen. Even Boris Johnson told his people, a lot of you are going to die. A lot of you are going to lose family members. You know, <laughs> what? all I was, there was a lot of undertone of, because if you look at some of the old documents from the old Berlin Convention, mm -hmm. these people have attempted to apportion Africa to themselves, like different European countries have basically looked at Africa on the map and split it between themselves. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And they want to do it again, mm. basically. Because if we look at Europe, we look at the Western world, Europe is spent yes. right now. Um, there isn't any more like big major investment that would just bring money like oil and gas. Rockefeller has done it. Mm -hmm. Um, the next thing is this whole climate change agenda, which yes. we have to look at very, very closely. Yeah, it sounds very good on paper, but there's a sinister agenda behind it. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Um, and I'm, I mean, I'm all for renewable energy. I'm all for clean energy. Shout out to Pam Africa. You know, Pam Africa in the building. <laughs> you know, yeah. Um, so we need to obviously develop clean energy capacities. Mm -hmm. Um, but not at the detriment of what we currently rely on to power our industries mm -hmm. and our big manufacturing plants. Mm -hmm. um, because you can't just end oil and gas like that. You know, there's so many industries that depend on oil and gas. We, apart from the automobile and aerospace industry, we have cosmetics. There yeah. are a lot of products, you know, that are made byproducts of oil and gas but i don't think the the kind of status quo and conversation is about getting rid of oil and gas it's literally about reducing the making it more efficient reducing the need for it we reset the industry of like transport uh, electricity all this industry wind them off like oil and gas i don't think it's completely getting rid of oil and gas if there was no oil and gas you know right now look, we can't even drink from this xylophone cup here all right so there's there's a need for all that sector but it's like let's be more efficient on how we use it so I agree with you. Um, if we're having an intelligent de debate, this is what I would expect the debate to consist of, where we actually reasonably discuss these things. But when you look at the action the Biden regime have taken in, in over the last two years, the first day in office, he ended uh, f uh, federal leasing of land for oil and gas drilling. First day in office. Uh, they recently lost a court case where he basically stopped oil and gas drilling in 13 states. And they recently lost the case. 
America is a very big country. It's the world superpower. The moment you just end oil and gas just like that, without anything to replace it immediately, they're going to lose their, their place in the world. And obviously, there's already the the petrol dollar is already losing its value gradually, you know. Um, and for us in Nigeria, basically our alternative currency is dollar, mm -hmm. you know. So that affects us as well here. Mm -hmm. So that's why when I, I mean, I don't work for anybody, so I guess I can say this. Um, when I see Tinubu's slogan, "The man to bring about a reset," I'm like. Is this buzzwords that come up again? Mm. This World Economic Forum buzzwords. I'm like, mm -hmm. the new and then I'm saying, okay, he's going yeah. to France. He's going to. Um, what's he going to do there? Is he campaigning yeah. over there? Yeah. Do yeah. you understand? So is he part of the agenda? Yeah. So no, this is beautiful. Mm. Yeah. And the, what the do new you, what do you think about electric cars? Okay. What do I think about electric cars? <laughs> electric cars are beautiful. You know, you know, you know, happy, you know, happy in, with them. in theory, they're beautiful. Uh, they're beautiful. Um, and they would. Are they practical though? Yeah, will, it, they, will they not, get? Will they get? I mean, they're not practical now, but will they? Can they no, because I, I have. A, I'm a pro climate change, pro no, um, yeah. um, electric cars, pro renewable. So I have a contrasting view. I'm on the other side, on the left side of things, right? But you're on this side. So I want to get. I want to understand. Is there any fury around those things that you think? Okay, you know, here's the disadvantage of these kind of technologies. Um, I yeah. think um, disadvantage. When you start talking about the technologies that come with electric cars, you're talking about. Uh, so, let let me say this. I saw this on I think it's on YouTube, where there was a very big garage of like Tesla cars, and they were all the the headlights basically formed an image, and it was being controlled. I don't know how. It, basically, they were just playing with the image, and it was forming like different images. And mm -hmm. I just thought, wow, they're able to do this to so many cars to basically program them. Mm -hmm. um, and then there is the one of the Fast and Furious movies. I don't know if you remember Cypher. Um, Cypher, I think. Mm. The lady that was in the plane that just never landed. I don't know if you watched that that particular Fast and Furious. No, no, no. no, no, no. Um, anyway, um, the guys were racing and then the cars were attacking them from like, where they were stored mm -hmm. on the road, like just being driven down remotely. Mm -hmm. And I just thought, if all these electric cars could become controlled remotely, you can imagine the power in the hands of the wrong person. Oh yeah, 100%. You know, if they declare a lockdown and they just send a signal to your car, you go to your car, you think you want to drive out and your car does not move mm -hmm. because they've sent a signal. Imagine doing that across a population of Real people. Real life, facts, yeah. The technology is available. This we're not talking about something wild I was anymore. Say, yeah, Do you get what I mean? Yeah. So, um, if if there are if we're going to go down this route of because this all fits into the fourth industrial revolution. Yeah. Um, and if we're Where are, we? To, are we in the third or fourth? Two are we now? Entering the well, the, the, the Davos is trying to push the push fourth industrial the fourth. revolution. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And if we're going to go into this. And it's if we are saying it's a natural revolution and not an engineered revolution, then we really need to have discussions as to the policies that govern this new phase that we're about to enter in humanity. Yeah, I mean, they try to say that because they say the ethics of the AO, the ethics of the code is really as good as the programmer itself. That's exactly. what they say, right? Yeah, but I mean, at the end of the day, we also know, like you've discussed, there are many agendas many sinister ones and there's nothing that we can do to kind of stop yeah. it all we can do is educate people against it we've seen what happened with alexa we've seen what happened with baby monitors mm -hmm. we've seen what happened with ring cameras we've seen what happens with our smartphones we've seen it all but unfortunately sorry what happened with alexa oh you've not there's many there's so been so, so many haven't you ever been in a room and have alexa there and you say something next to me you've seen adverts about that thing Oh that yeah, that was even yeah, mine. Yeah. Now there's been so many. I mean, there's there's been Alexa has. There's always a new story about what it's done. Sometimes it's sent recordings. Uh, a husband and wife are talking about someone. It sent the recording to someone else. Yeah. It's also done so many things. It's woken up in the night and and said things. It like I mean, it's always on. That's the yeah. point. Is the naivety of the consumer is that this thing only turns on when I say this thing. No, for it to have heard you say it, that means it had to be on in the first place. Yeah. So we know this thing. On but the thing is, they've done such a good job in the sense of we have to trade off between between privacy and security. So I'm um, convenient, sorry, and privacy. And we always trade our privacy for convenience. Mm. I mean, they've got us into that trap. 
unless you're using, as long as you're using a smartphone, you're already plugged into the agenda as much as you want to kind of like, right. yeah. yeah. So you just have to manage it. I, I want to ask a question about, because you currently live in the UK, right? Sorry, so before you ask a question, and you know, if, um, I don't know if it's Alexa or OK Google. Mm-hmm. Um, there's one, obviously I'm, I'm a Christian mm-hmm. and if you say, oh, what is Krishna? And it gives you a response. What is Muhammad? It gives you a response. Who is Jesus? And he doesn't give you a response or he gives some sort of, some sort of uh, error message. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I obviously have to take that a little bit personal. Yeah. Like who, yeah. who is actually engineering these things? Yeah. You know, are they, are they trying to push a whole generation away from Jesus? You know? I mean, we see it as well. People need hmm. to wake up and see the media, for example. Let's take a step back and look at the majority of shows on Netflix, Prime Video. They all have a theme. And when you understand, like you say, the keywords, there's many different keywords and themes. And when you understand that, even going up on the train, when I was working in the city, I would go up on the train and there would be like art, the TFL art, their artwork and you could see certain symbolism and messages that were put in that thing and it's only when you know it's clear as day and it used to really get to me and depress me because it was like fam like these men are just not hiding it you know they're not hiding it at all they're getting bolder and bolder so yeah it's um it's a great it's a it's a great topic i actually i know you wanted to ask a question i actually wanted to push it to africa a bit if i can because there's 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 some conspiracy theories within our um, ecosystem for example the Gaddafi one is one of them and things like that so i would love to hear your um thoughts on african conspiracies and yeah um which one yeah did you guys know about the expired vaccines that were sold to africa <laughs> hmm. <laughs> well, <a lot. laughs> you're, you're really against this vaccination situation oh right? no it's, uh, it's look, terrible it, by the time you start looking at the details mm. <laughs> and the the uh Look. Shout, out, shout out to everyone that's taking the vaccine. <laughs> <laughs> Stay safe Look, out here. We, I try to warn. We we, we try to. So warn. you're you're not you're not pro vax. Um um. Do you know what? Yeah, I think about you know when I have children, I, I might just not vaccinate my children. You know, for any on anything. I just think that the, you know there's different type of vaccination. I know, COVID-19, but right? the fact that these vaccines are being made by the same companies doesn't that get to you? So what do you think the vaccine is going to do? Like, what is the worst thing that can happen? So, okay, if, okay. Let, let let me let me let me come about this a different way. Right, yeah. Is there a proof that these vaccines actually do work? Is no, there a proof no, that the vaccine go, does not do work and does something No, else? let's go further. I think we're still yeah. on the surface. Let's yeah. even go further to okay. what is what is a vaccine meant to do? It's like homeopathic medicine. Mm. In homeopathic medicine, you give yourself the disease so that your body can build antibodies, antibodies to yeah. find it. The vaccine, the, the theory behind the vaccines has the same premise. The problem with vaccines is so complicated. One, for example, if you look at the history of vaccines in Africa, I mentioned this on another episode, there's, there's communities of women in Kenya and many other places that are barren because they want to go and test on them. There's conspiracies around those. And, and people People don't know this because it's not discussed it's in there. any media. Of course it's not discussed. Even this week alone, do you know how many people have said, oh yeah, the things I'm hearing about Nigeria in the media is putting me off. I'm like, guy, we're here, we're out here, baby. Mm-hmm. It's not, hey. don't let the thing, don't let the, the media, it brainwashed all brainwashed, of us. Yeah. So you're right, they're selective in what they discuss. I mean, that's why I stopped watching mainstream news in the UK too, because when they want to talk about us a lot, it's very you, dark. You know about this? Oh, oh let me wow. play. There's a lot of stuff. <laughs> this conversation, if I'm like, I've read a lot of books. This is something that I'm very uh, deep in as well. But again, you have to be careful with this topic too because when you go too deep down this line it can actually become depressing it can and, become and, depressing and, and you have to focus on, yeah and yeah. you have to focus on just your immediate life you can't get too sucked into mm. the darkness of the world because you see it every single day yeah, 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 and you yeah. have to just think okay what can i do within my own little life and the means that i have to just bring some light into the situation there comes to a point in your life where you have an epiphany and yeah then you start searching for answers right it's t- take you a year it took you two years to me it took me almost a year and a half and I was just reading books, doing a lot of research. Mm-hmm. You go through the cycle. You get angry, like, "Oh my god, this is what's going to happen. <laughs> mm-hmm. I'm going to tell everybody." Uh, yeah. And then you, and then you now like trying to tell everybody. You realize people look at you crazy, and you're like, "Oh, can you see what I'm seeing?" And then it's like, okay, you, you not, you not, you're not casting yourself out the world, but you need to find a way to fit into the world. Yeah. But also exactly. have that understanding, right? Yeah. So you will not get to a point of, of like solace, I would say. Yeah. Where you've got an understanding of the world. But also, you're not blinded by the by the nonsense. But but I think I think you know in the African context, really, I think we we need to uh, 
develop our own capacities. Okay. I think we listen too much to like these international organizations. Facts. You know, um, I run to them for eighteen months yeah. too. But we'll discuss I remember that during more. the early part of COVID, when uh, Madagascar came up with a solution, they mm-hmm. called it COVID Organics, which mm-hmm. was made from a herb that they have abundance. I don't know if you shout know out about to John Magafuli, rest in peace as well. He was also the president of Tanzania. I'm sure we'll, we'll yes. touch on him too. He yeah. he had a different approach. Yeah. Music industry has actually helped a lot yes. to, I think to we've got a lot spirits. to be patriotic about. No, no, no. That's one thing I need to say also. We need to really support. Nigeria as a government needs to support the, the music industry because it's actually becoming a big export. <laughs> like, we don't have any music. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I want to hear this. Wait, I want to hear wait, this. Wait, 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 <laughs> wait, this point. We actually don't have any music museum. <laughs> any Afrobeat museum. Mm, so when, I when, never thought when, about that. Internationally, listen, right now, all these artists who go around the world performing all these big stages, all these Oh, you people are obsessed yeah. with the music. I was in London when we skied. They can't sold come to Nigeria also. and enjoy a good Afrobeat experience. They yeah. can't come to Nigeria and enjoy they a good can't Afrobeat come to experience. They do a lot of things. I mean, like at the end of the day, I hear you. I hear you, but I don't know. Maybe this this may be thrown away. But if you say we don't have a lot to be patriotic about, I think we do. I'm very patriotic about the Nigerian spirit. Mm. There's something called the Nigerian spirit, which is why when we go abroad, despite starting here, we conquer. We're the top, apart from African Americans. I'm sorry to say this. I think Nigerians are the top black like Ooh. group mm. because we come from the most disabling environment. Yeah, and then we rise. There's no corner of this earth you don't find an indian a chinese and a nigerian person mm. and you always find a nigerian person doing well i'm patriotic about patriotic about that there's something in us mentally and spiritually that's special despite i the like circumstances. that you know i like that because yeah. it doesn't it's not bounded to any physical thing it's not because there's nothing mm. to be i'm not this is like i'm always calling this place a ghetto and i live here <laughs> now so like, i even it makes me look silly self because i'm still living the one living in this mosquito sometimes, ridden ghetto. Sometimes, yeah. so yeah. Um, in, in america the the most successful black demographic are nigerians yeah the most educated black group most educated ethnic group is nigerians yeah so i think we we have the we have the brains we have the 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 source the label force uh, there's, there's something the that god has put in us yeah. uh, I, don't, I don't think what both of you said is correct but anyways really oh, no it's it, not the most most uh, edu- most no the statistics said it no, it, 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 this no, this no, facts no no no, this, no, no, no. hold on hold on hold on, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> I, I you know what I mean I read you know what I'm saying like, google it like, I'm like, <laughs> asking questions but y'all nigga read <laughs> so I know it's among black society rather than just ethnic I think Indians are, are achieving more in, in America than Nigerians no they're just they're just, just, just last week they were trying to say Indians are, but the, the statistic we're talking about they're saying the most educated oh educated that's it's not about they're just the trying most to educated what a group ethnic Immigrants. group in yeah in America it's been a long documented statistic this isn't a this isn't mm. a um, us talking as in I saw it on Fox News I know, yeah. I've seen that as well I've it's not it's not well. we're not discussing it like that's what they put out there mm. um regardless at the end of the day that's what I would say me I'm patriotic but does, about. It, does it mean being the most educated does it mean being the most successful does it mean being the most enlightened does it mean Success is subjective. What, what, was what, it just educated or what, was it educated, just educated. No, success overall? Like, no, no, it's educated. No, 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 no. I guess I'll have to look at that to be No, 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 no. And who, who told you that education, the design of education right now is not a... a uh, a uh, construct for you, you know what that's a whole that's a new say, conversation say, that's another discussion on its own boy yeah. right? Bec- so we can unpack that yeah. entire conversation <laughs> and you can basically be valueless because education is good I get it I, I went to the highest level of education right but I would say sometimes education can be designed for a purpose to serve it a purpose. was designed for I guess for lack of better word the third industrial revolution where you just wanted to churn in human factories that's and it could be a cultural thing in Nigeria. It's, you need to go to the best school. You need to do, 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 do. you need to do this. You yeah, but it's good. That. Indians are similar to us as well. I know that in their culture, they're Indians quite similar. similar. I don't think there's anything wrong with pushing yeah. our children because to not go to the everybody's going to be an entertainer. Nobody, everybody's going to be an artist. So mm-hmm. to get the highest chance of success. Education is, is to get our education. But we strive to the best and we proved it time and time again. When we go to other countries, African or non-African, we do tend to rise to the top. I'm not saying it's everybody, so, but... I mean, we're here with a doctor, you know? Yeah, exactly. No, no, I get a pinnacle it, like, of education. Exactly. No, 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 right? <laughs> you should not even be questioning us. I like that us. pinnacle of education. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 but I, I get the whole education is important stuff, right? But I'm, what I'm trying to say is this, right? Is how do you ensure that people are getting well educated that the, the education that they need to survive in the current society 
It's not about just it's having parents, education. It's home. It's home. It's you. The job is done outside the school. Yeah. Par- today, yeah, parents rely too much on the system to raise their children. Okay, that's the problem. 100%. Okay, you're relying on outside institutions, and the thing is, they spend more time with the system than with you. Mm. So the job you need to make sure that you're doing your job at home to arm them, so when they go out into the world, they know what they're going to get from there, and they also know what other things they need to achieve and not become a slave of the system. Mm. It's 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 not when I, it could be parents, it could be siblings, it could be whatever, but the job is done outside. You can't allow rely on a system that determines from the minute you're born, you're not even allowed to really start making moves until you're 21. Who the hell are you? I can have been a boss at 18 mm. but university has determined that i will go from 18 i finish my a levels by 21 i'll finish my degree for the poor doctors yeah that are doing medicine <laughs> then i finish at 23 and they've got xxx more exams you've already determined when that child is born or when they're allowed to even start making moves yeah. so that i agree education the system does design a route yeah but what we we have responsibility as parents mm. or future parents to ensure that we arm the children around us to be able to get freedom mm. i think the key every, every human being wants freedom so it could mm. be financial freedom it could be mental freedom and keying out of the system is is attaining mm. freedom so 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 i i mean i'll ask you first quickly before i said what i want to say but what is the best thing about nigeria and or africa in general that you think first of all you can start in nigeria and you can go to africa um the freedom see every guest says that Every guest will ask the question about four or five guests have saying. said that. So yeah. why you say everybody wants freedom? Yeah, exactly. Why is everybody not in Nigeria? No. We have so right now, I said it's financial freedom, it could be mental freedom. The freedom comes in many different ways. Right now, people here, they don't have financial security and mental freedom, and sometimes they don't have security freedom. They go to chase that in the West. In the West, yeah, we don't have mental freedom, per se. <laughs> we're corporate slaves. Mm. And so we, the system is, whether it's parking ticket, whether it's racism, whether it's Christ. something, we're coming to chase like freedom that in society. That's because... why I said freedom is not just um, being free, like I can race my car 100 mm. miles per hour. Being free can come with financial freedom. This mm. place is very hard to be financially free. Mm. Even an IG GB that comes back has to walk on fire before they could even attain the financial freedom that Lagos yeah, can give you. For them, yeah, it's before not Lagos easy. gives you that freedom. Can, can I say this? Yeah. yeah. So I, I left Nigeria in 2005. I was 16 or 17. Don't calculate the age. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, you know, by then my parents were already in, in the UK. Uh, we, I have always wanted to like visit Nigeria, come back. It was short two months or whatever holiday. Mm-hmm. I was unable to because I didn't have the finances. Mm. Um, That's another thing we talk about. I like that. Go ahead. Yeah. Money to come back. So yeah. it was only, and obviously I had some other issues, immigration, mm-hmm. but later on, it was only up until 2017, mm-hmm. which was about 12 years later. Yeah that I was in a position where I was willing and able to then come to Nigeria. And I started like visiting at least once a year since then. Mm-hmm. Um, so I guess I had to get to the point of financial freedom to mm-hmm. then come relate back with the homeland. Yeah. And as first it was all about vibes or now I'm seeing the opportunities yeah. uh, and looking to potentially explore i mean if i if i blow now who knows mm-hmm. i might take the same step you t- took and come back fully mm-hmm, you know mm-hmm. so yeah uh, a lot of people move abroad to get the financial freedom once yeah. they get the financial freedom they now start trying to get other forms of freedom yeah yeah you see mm-hmm. um yeah. and i think that was more or less would, it. You, would you move to nigeria i would say if the right opportunity comes or if I'm able to successfully create the opportunity for myself. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. If you're the president of Nigeria, what would you do differently? Oh, that's a loaded question, man. Um, we need to change our orientation as a country. We need to be, I would look at our review the education system. The education system needs to produce more patriotic citizens, um, less corrupt citizens. Um, Put that history back in school, boy. That's another concern. Well, I was going to say that. Family. I think it was a certain man took away history from the curriculum. And that was one of the worst things to happen to our education system. Yeah, 100%. Um, definitely put history well, back. Nigerian history. Yeah, yeah they, they as a subject. Did you do that um, 
current current affairs. Is that that wasn't history though. That was just like knowing what's happening. There's history and there's current affairs. Um, current affairs history. is thoughts. I think in primary school or so. Mm. And secondary school is called history. Uh, yeah, I think so. Or mm. Something like that. Um, all what I else? Remember, all I remember from this thing is Lord the God, Lord the God. Why am I remembering a white man's name? Lord, nineteen <laughs> fourteen. Yeah, that's, that's all I remember, literally. Uh, yeah, because, oh yeah, yes. I would change the name of the country because mm. it was given by a white person. It was given by Lord Lugard's babe. What was yeah. Nigeria's name before Nigeria? It, was it, it didn't. Have, it was no Nigeria. It was, it was, it was Nigeria. literally. It wasn't. It was your that was. It, it was a a group of clans and tribes. See, exactly. Look, the more you look into this, things, the more you realize books, the world yeah. we Plenty live in is a fraud. Read. Really, yeah. the concept of country is a very recent concept. Oh, I love that. Mm. Oh, that's it's a, a very recent. Topic. Yeah. It was either kingdoms or small yes, clans that's and what tribes. I'm yeah. That was how the world was run for majority of history. Mm-hmm. Why why are there more dark skinned people in Africa than everywhere in the world? Well, um, uh, uh, his civilization started from going there. There's an African history course, guys, Credible Civilization on the on the blog. You can go and check it out. Um, archaeologists, this is well documented. Civilization started from here and then it moved out over. However, one thing about the black race, every race can come out of us. We cannot come out of every other race. I won't go into the details, but it's all the all the details like are in the course. Every I've, race can come out of that's us. Just, that's just that's this is just a biological fact. The details are in the course, guys. It's only time. I, I don't. Months. Um, I think it's a lot more fundamental than that. I think it's just the 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 climate, the environment, the equator, the weather. Um, but in terms of where civilization started, when you look at the fossils, when you look at what archaeology has told us, there's different types. Even not Homo sapiens, there was Homo grimalis or however you guys say it. There's lots mm. of different kind of um, groups of of species before us, and the bone, the fossils, the oldest dated fossils are found on this continent. Mm. Okay, but at that time. They also had dark and fair black people. We were never just all dark, you know. Can, can I say something? Mm-hmm. Go ahead. It's, it's not wild, but uh, I don't know how a lot of Christians will feel about this, you know. Uh, you know, in the Bible says, let us make man. Mm-hmm. Um, I think the more we look at some of these fossils and the things it tells us, mm-hmm. starting to come to the understanding that possibly there was something there might, that might have existed before that statement yeah. that was probably looked like man but maybe was not in the image of god so some it's quite popular in christianity is actually bible so the way churches are now yeah i also mm. always say this we pay for a motivational speaker but when you actually look at the word read it word for word it's so obvious like genesis 1 2 and 3 is like a sci-fi story and it's very even it talks about three heavens which is space and other things and it literally says that there was a life i think they call it the gen i can't remember the term they use but yeah it's in in christianity where people actually read the bible it's a well-known phenomenon mm, like yeah. yeah there was life before this modern man yeah, yeah modern man is just this species right now there was life before that uh definitely uh but yeah education is so important for our young our young children yeah yeah so mm-hmm. yeah change the name of nigeria education mm-hmm. and i guess infrastructural investment okay nice Thank you, Samuel. That was a good this chat. This was lit, man. man. On my Thanks days, I need you on me. again, again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some <laughs> yeah. intelligent stuff going on there, right yeah, there. Yeah, man. Yeah, next time we'll talk about my travels around the world. Yes, please. <laughs> All right, then.